after 73 days in solitary confinement. A winner was crowned last night on Big Brother. Jordan, the 22-year-old waitress from North Carolina, beat Natalie Martinez, the scheming 24-year-old college grad. Our own Julie Chen sat down with Jordan moments after she became $500,000 richer. No one can resist my southern charm. Now that I don't have any allies, I have to look out for myself. I, I have to win it for me. It's kind of like I'm just winging it. Congratulations, Jordan. Round two goes to you. How many total votes to evict have been cast so far this season? The correct answer is 51. Congratulations, Jordan. You're the final bit of Elsa. Jeff's vote goes to, congratulations, Jordan. You just won half a million dollars. How are you feeling right now? Ugh, speechless. He's like, you're not, you're acting like you don't even know me in there. I'm like, I'm, I don't know what to say. You see I'm, how money changes so much? Right? <laughs> did, that did not take long. No, how, you must feel like all these I emotions. I never would have thought in a million years I would have made it in the final two, ever. In your words, what does it take to win Big Brother? Oh, gosh. Honestly, I don't know, because I didn't really know what I was doing half the time I got it. <laughs> so I just told myself, I was like, be yourself. Jeff, you're going home with $25,000. Why do you think America fell in love with you? Good editing, I think. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what happens to the Jeff and Jordan showmance? Your family warned you. Grandpa. You know, Grandpa He's said. He's always watching. He said what to you? No booger. And booger is? Six. On national television. No booger. Is there going to be booger now that you're not, <laughs> now that you're not on national television? Where's my mom? Oh, oh, my God. Here is a Thank check you. for $500,000. Thank you. Of course, we'll give you the real thing later. And Jeff, you get $25,000. And for more on Julie's interview with Jordan and the other finalists, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.